Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today for Cut at Home. Today I'm making three different cards using some new Sizzix dies that Cut at Home has. And here are the three cards that we'll be making today. The first card I'm using, um, I am using the new Sizzix card front hearts with layering shape and the product code on that the number is 660107 I will have that in the description box below along with all the other products used today so this is a card front and the front of this is four and three quarters by six and a quarter so it's large enough to cover your regular A2 size card and those are six extra layering dies that come with it so I'm using a piece of Heidi Swap mixed company paper and I'm adding my die to it with a little bit of scotch tape so it'll hold it in place. I am placing it on my multi-purpose platform with the cut side up along with a cut plate and a regular plate. And that white piece of paper you see there is just a white piece of cardstock. I'm using that as a shim so it really gives it a lot of pressure as I run it through a few times. And that way it gives me a perfect cut. So as you can see, that just cuts out beautifully. I'm just taking off the excess and my, my tape that was in there. And now I'm just punching out the center pieces that I will be discarding. Once I remove all those, I just lightly press on the dies. You can use a paper piercer to help you or something um, to lightly poke through. But once you get it started, it easily comes off. You just want to be careful when you pull it off. And now I'm adding some squish, excuse me, some scotch quick dry to the entire back of the card, which only takes a minute, or I should say the die cut. And then I'm adding that to my card. And I'm really going to press down on all the edges to make sure that it's pressed down very well. And once I've done that, I will just cut off the excess. So as you can see, that covers my entire front of my card so nicely. So now I'm using another die. It's called Just a Note by Sizzix. And I'm pressing in those little in those little circles with my paper piercer. It helps to release the paper from the die very nicely. And this die comes with 69 dies. It has an uppercase and a lowercase, plus lots of extras. I'm using a piece of paper from Bramble and Rose by My Mind's Eye. The yellow of it goes perfect with the cards that I'm making today. So I'm just adding the word hello along with the exclamation point. The tweezers you see me using are reverse tweezers. They really help to hold small pieces in place while you're gluing them down. So now I will be cutting this into a fishtail on the end of my greeting and add that to the front of the card. I have also used the Heartfelt Creations Ariana Blooms. I showed that in last week's video. I made several flowers, just white flowers, using that die set, which I love. And what I'm going to do is, using one of the flowers that I made last week, I'm going to cut some stamens out of that same paper that I used for my greeting. That way it coordinates perfectly. So I just cut out two of the medium and two of the small size stamens and used my stylus to break up the fibers in the middle of the paper by rubbing it into a circular motion and that gives it dimension. And now I'm just going to adhere them together and again add those into the middle of my flower. Here are some flourishes that I cut out from the Silhouette Cameo. I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive and adhere that down.
and I will tuck those flourishes behind. They're a little bit long, so I'll cut them off and use the extras at the bottom of the card. And now you can see that flower matches perfectly with the yellow that's behind the hello. I did cut out from that same paper a few of the layering hearts, and I will also add those to the front of my card. I first, though, adhere a pearl in the middle of the flower and also to the left of the hello. I will just randomly place a few of those on just to bring in that yellow color a little bit more. I love that with this die you can use this as a card front. It makes it super quick. But I also love that they add the extra dies with it. That way if you wanted to use just those, you can do so. So now I'll just cut off the excess that's hanging over. And I added, I believe, three to the inside of the card. And they all have different little shapes. Some are solid, but some have stripes and some have chevrons throughout them. Some have polka dots. Here's the second piece of paper that I cut from that same paper, and now I've added pop dots to the entire back. As you can see, there's pencil lines. I stuck, I traced it out so I knew where to add the pop dots to it. So now, again, I will just trim off the excess that's hanging over. And this really gives it a neat look to give it dimension to the card. It also gives it a little shadow to it, which I love. So now I'm using a Labels 40 die from Cut It Home as well. This is a fun die. This is S4465, which will be in the description box. And again, using that same paper, I'm cutting out one of these from that paper, but that paper is very thin. So I, off camera, will cut out a white piece of cardstock from the same die and adhere them together to give it a little bit more stability. And now I want to use this as a banner on my card, so I'm just giving it a straight edge, taking a little bit off the die. And here's that Sizzix, just a note. I cut out the word thanks, and I'm adding that to the bottom of the banner. Along with the exclamation point again. And now I wasn't sure what I was going to do, whether I was going to tie a bow. So what I ended up doing is just wrapping the satin ribbon around a few times. And I was going to make a bow out of it this way, but in the end you'll see I, did, I didn't actually use a bow. Here's some twine that I had. I was going to wrap that around the middle and then decided I should add some crochet twine to really make sure it holds well together since crochet twine is so thin I knew that I could get a good knot on it. So I just tie that around a couple times and cut off the ends and now my twine is more for decoration. So I'm just going to fluff that out and actually I'm going to cut it so there's there's not a bow in it it's just separate pieces because I wasn't happy with how the bow part looked. So I'm going to adhere my banner down.
and here's where you see me cutting off the tails. So it's basically just um, separate pieces of ribbon tied together in the middle and I was really happy with how that looked. And it does leave a little bit of a frayed edge. What, what you'll see me do here is use a lighter to lightly go over those edges. That stops it from fraying. So if you don't want the fray look, you can lightly do that. But you want to be very careful because it can catch on fire if you're not careful with that. So now I'm just using a little hot glue, adhering that down. And now I'm using a Wild Orchid Crafts flowers, daisy. These are super cute. I'm going to add that right to the middle there. And that's my second card. So this, as you can see, was super simple to put together. I love that Labels 40 die from Spellbinders as well. I think it goes perfect on there. And that yellow looks perfect with that paper. So now the last card is, again, I did this off camera. I just cut out some white hearts, added it to a 4x4 four four white cardstock. So it's just a little note card. Glued it all down and cut off the edges, just like you've seen me do. I love the white on white look. And I'm using a flower that I made from the same Ariana Blooms. I love having those just ready in my stash. I'm just edging the flower with some sponge sugar. So it gives it just a little bit of color. And now I'm using some leaves that I cut from the Cameo. I'm using a little bit of hot glue to adhere those down and then I will add a few pearls to it. So as you can see, three simple but really cute cards using these awesome new dies from Sizzix. I will have the links in the description box below and there's always more information on Cut It Home's blog. So I'll have the link to their blog as well in the description box. I hope you check it out. You'll see more detailed photos there along with the product codes and lots of inspiration. So thanks so much for watching.